Hey guys, I want to show you a project that I recently completed. And actually, it's made, but it's not completed because my plans were to tweak it before I ever made the video of it. But I recently injured my hand. I broke the fifth metacarpal in my hand. I'm not able to get out in the woodwork shop. It's going to be a while. So I decided to go ahead and video it. I made an iPad holder. Now, it's not the average iPad holder. As a matter of fact, when I come up with the idea, I looked around on YouTube, on the internet, and I have not seen one exactly like it. Uh, I really haven't seen one close to it. Maybe you have one or you've made one or whatever, and if, if so, hey, send me, you know, let me know. Send me the pictures or whatever. I'd be interested in looking at it. Also, I'd be interested in, you know, if you got any ideas for tweaking it, send them my way. I'd be glad to listen to it, and once I'm healed up and able to get back in the woodwork shop, I want to do some tweaking on this thing. I'm also going to make a couple others. So here's what I made. Like I said, it's not the average iPad holder. Here you have pretty much where the iPad sits, and you can see that here. And I use my iPad in a Griffin case. You can see the front, man, it's all scratched up, and that's the case that's scratched up. Let me go ahead and say, I use my phones, I use my iPads, my cameras in the shop all the time, and I have to keep my stuff in a case. I made this big enough for the, for the case, and here you can see where it rests and if you're familiar with iPads you know that the speakers on the back the speakers right here on the back right there and you know that if you listen to it or play a video or whatever you pretty much have to cut your hand around the back of that speaker in order to hear it um, with this as a matter of fact, the, it is so loud now when I'm watching a video that I have to cut the volume down on the iPad because it's, all the sounds right here projected out. And, you know, there's been a ton of, of wooden speakers made that you set your iPhone in. We all know that, that, you know, that helps greatly. And that's why I left this space here on the side. The sound has, has to come out toward you and it is a lot louder. Now what this is for, let me go ahead and show you. Sitting in my chair at home, I do a lot of editing and a lot of watching YouTube and a lot of things on my iPad. We live in a compact area and I don't have room for a table right here. My chair is right beside the wall. And if you can see the holes here, this is where I had that thing mounted and it works perfect. I'll put it on the wall in a minute and show you. But that's how I come up with the idea. Actually, I noticed our magazine rack beside the toilet, which is beside the sink or on the side of the cabinet. I noticed the magazine rack the other day. The magazine rack's empty, so I just need to take it down. And I got to thinking, well, what do we always use? It's either an iPad or an iPhone or whatever. Uh, all my magazines that I read are on my uh, on an app on my iPhone and iPad. My wife reads books on her phone or iPad. There was nowhere to set the phones, and that's, that's kind of how I come up with the idea. And everyone in my house seems to have to take something to read to the restroom. That's just the way it is. So that's where I got the idea. Let me go ahead and show you this. Uh, these, this is made out of scrap, pretty much. These three strips here are 7 8 inch thick and they're uh, made out of cedar, some scrap cedar I had laying around. This is pine, I believe it's pine, and I think it is an inch and a quarter thick out this way. Uh, I cut the groove here by turning on its side and just run it through the, the uh, table saw. So there's a groove right here, if you can see that. And the back is 3 h plywood. Turn this thing over. This is oak and this is oak and you can see it pivots right here so I used oak for that because my iPad with the case on it's kind of heavy so I used oak because that's the, the stoutest wood that I had in the shop and this is actually scrap hardwood flooring that my dad had left in the shop first of all the hardwood flooring has a groove actually on the back of each piece and I just ran that through the table saw cut that groove off 
and as well as the tongue and groove. I just ripped it down each side, and that's how I got these pieces. Now, I glued these together, and, and the reason I did this is uh, the first time I put it up, I had this part mounted to a board just like this, but it didn't have this piece. It didn't have this part here or this part here. You can see just the board runs straight through. So at that point, it worked, but it would drop about a half an inch out at the end of the, the iPad holder. It was, it was about a half an inch lower than I wanted. It didn't come out and stay level. And the reason for that is that board was twisting. There was a lot of weight on it, and that one little board was twisting. So I added these. And once I, I glued these up, and uh, the next day come in here and got it all squared away, screw that to the wall. Once I put these on there, it was done. It was perfect. It, it didn't flex. Um, I'm not going to say it doesn't move at all. It's wood. It's going to move. It's going to flex. But, it, I mean, it's, it's on there, and it's tight. So... Now, what, how I want to tweak it, I don't, the, the iPad itself is not tilted back, which is fine with me. It works perfect for what, where I'm at right here. It's the perfect height. It comes out. It's right there. It, I don't need it to, to twist back. That's one of the things I thought about adding later on is, is putting a pivot, uh, making the iPad, iPad actually pivot backward a little bit. Especially if in the bathroom, if I, if I do make a phone holder like that, when it swings out, it can't be straight up. It needs to be pivoted back a little bit. It's going to just lay in the, the holder. At any rate, that's things I thought about, and this is what I'm working on. I'll see if I can get this thing mounted back up here with one hand, and then I'll show it to you. Okay, I got this thing mounted up here, and you can see it right here. I think it works great. Like I said, the only thing I did here is I just drilled a hole through these two pieces and just put a bolt through it. I need to get a lock nut for it. Sometimes I have it so tight that it tends to come loose a little bit and it squeaks a little bit. The reason for that, I haven't put a finish on it. Once I put a finish on it, then I'll put a tad bit of oil right there and I believe that I'll take the squeak out of it. But it comes out and that's how it sits. So that's what it looks like mounted to the wall. What it looks like with the iPad in it. Okay. All right. I had to put the camera down just to plug in the cord there. But the the cord just plugs right in. That groove there is just so that I mean, if you don't, then the cord be out here putting pressure on it at all times. So that's pretty much it. I pull it out, and there it is. It's right here in front of me. I pull up YouTube, and there's my channel. So, and you can see it's got a little bit of a bounce, not much, if I, you know, if I purposely bounce it. But as far as watching videos, I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's right there. I, I edit, I can do whatever, and it's right here, right in front of me. If I need to get up and move it out of the way, I mean, I simply just push it right out of the way. On that end, it kind of rests on the other, on the other board. Uh, the top board rests on the, on the bottom board. Now, here's uh, some other things I had thought about. Not only put it in the bathroom beside the sink so that you can set an iPhone or whatever on it, but I was thinking of how else we could use it. Uh, actually, what I'm thinking about is mount it under a cabinet in a kitchen. And if your wife or you or whoever uses the iPad or iPhone or whatever you're going to make it for, you use it for recipes, have that thing mounted up in the kitchen and then you just bring it down lay your ipad in it and it's there you're good to go and when you're done push it up out of the way as a matter of fact you probably wouldn't even see it once uh, once you push it up out of the way so there's some ideas i had like i said once i get healed up i'm gonna go back and work on this thing tweak it a little bit i may take it down put a put a finish on it uh, before that but other than that i mean the the next one i make will be for my phone probably but uh, that's it. That's what I got going on right now. I've got a couple other videos. Like I said, I'm gonna be out of the wood shop for a little while, but uh, I do have some projects that I have completed. I should be able to video them and put them on uh, on my channel. So, you know, you're getting content even though I'm down and out for a little bit. Hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like that. If so, feel free to make you one, use it however, share it. If you got ideas, please send them to me. I'd love to, to 
have some other ideas of how to tweak this thing and make it better. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.